Full G's. Oh, we're stalling her. Hold it together. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fly Daily. Today we are playing IL2 1946. This video was inspired um, by Max TV. He made a video of the Doe 335, and I was like, dude, I gotta play some of those planes that I can't play in War Thunder just because it wouldn't really work. But IL2 1946 is awesome if you get mods and such. I don't think. Um, the plane I'm using today is a mod, but it might be, I don't know, Devil Dog Gamer actually helped me set this all up, thanks to him as well. Um, but we're going to be playing with a super cool plane. It's the Baby MiG-15, or the TA-183. It was a um, prototype that the uh, Germans designed in World War II, and it had, I believe, like four 30 mils, or just four huge cannons. And it also had four hard points for wire-guided missiles. And we're going to talk about that real quick and kind of, kind of just say that this music in the intro is beautiful. It just, you start the game, you're like, yeah, all right, where's my tea at, you know? It's a little fanfare. Okay, so the missile we're going to be using today, I think in game, let's see, single, we'll just do a quick mission builder. And as I play this more and more, I'll get more complicated. It's the 4XX-4. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this missile system. Uh, as I said before, it was a wire-guided missile, so it had about a five kilometer or 3.4 mile wire that would launch with it in the pilot in whatever plane it was being used, I think it was testing the Focke-Wulf 190, they had a little joystick that they would just guide it around. And um, they would attempt to get it as close to the target as possible, but at certain ranges it is hard to kind of determine if it's on course or not. And that's why this missile system was armed with a um, uh, I, I guess fuse system or a detonation system that once it was in close enough range it had, it had a 20 kilogram fragmentation device This is from Wikipedia. I'm reading off it right now um, So once it got into that range it would explode and it had about a lethal radius of about 25 feet And so how this worked was that as the missile got close get this To the B-17 engine. I'm gonna read this right now in acoustical system tuned to 200 Hertz Sound of the B-17 engines and crews activated by the Doppler shift as the missile approached. The trigger range was seven meters. So once I guess this missile uh, locked in at 200 hertz, it would explode with its 10 with, with its 20 kilogram payload. So that's that just blows my freaking mind. So this missile was created. It was in production, but it was never used. I believe in the military effort to our understanding. Uh, but the test bed was a Focke Wolf 190, and they deemed it was too hard for the Focke Wolf pilots or the single fighter pilots to control the aircraft um, and control the missile at the same time. So they deemed it, it was um, more practical to use it on a bigger missile system or platform, such as a JU 88 or maybe, a, you know, just a twin engine bomber, just because it's more stable in the air. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, let's see what, okay, so yeah, there's so much shit, dude. Zvilling, the uh, double uh, Heinkel 111. I'm gonna take out, we're gonna do the B-17 though. Look how many planes we have to play. It's insane. If you guys like recommend a plane for me to take out, we can do it, there's so much. Um, now, where are the American bombers at? Probably a little bit higher, huh? Okay, Focke Wolf, Yunkers. Don Donier, Hawker, Bristol, Gloucester, Lock. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's get a B-17 Fortress. We'll put in three of them. And we don't really need any of these. And we'll, we'll see if we can take it down at least one. So how it works in game is that I have my arrow keys set up. And so I launch the missile. And then it's wired, got it to the target. All right, let's see if this works. Here we go. All right. Full power, here we go. So here is a tall 183. Look at that sexy thing, man. And there are, there's the missile system. So um, I, I believe those uh, four things sticking out are the control surfaces, how it was able to move. Uh, these missiles also spun at 60 RPMs. 
So one revolution per second. And um, it's cool because these things had flares on the end of them. Um, so when they launch, the pilot can easily tell where they're at. Because um, the rocket motor or the missile motor would be, you know, a lot of smoke coming out of the rear. So flares were enabled on the tail fins right there to show where the missile's at. Let's do some flybys. Look how sick that looks. Full G's. Oh, we're stalling her. Hold it together. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. All right, what can we do here? Oh, shit. Idle power, idle power. Idle power. Opposite the opposite of the spin. Let's see if we can save it. There we go. Okay, we don't have that much. Oh my god. We're, come on, come on, come on. Flaps. Full power. Beautiful. Flaps retract. Actually, I, I don't know how. Okay, there we go. Flaps are raised. Please don't jam, flaps. Okay, let's get. Let, let's zoom back out. So now the mission is. Here we are on the mission side. We gotta find. Wait, there they are, right there. Okay. B-17's in sight. I really want to be able to do this. Here are the cannons on it, too. Oh. Probably 430 mils of knowing the German designers. Okay, B-17's are over there. We can see the little specs. We're at 350 kilometers an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get kind of behind them. Right, right at their level, so I only have to guide a little bit up and down, a little bit left and right. Like, imagine having a like OP system when this game came out. I don't know how old this game is. It's probably pushing, like, like 10 years? No, maybe, like, 8 years. Um, but having these graphics and these plain details in the cockpits, fucking amazing. Okay, 400 440 kilometers an hour, not bad. Okay, we're getting behind them now. There they are. Five. Don't know if that's miles or kilometers. Looks like um, kilometers, though. So. Okay, let's do a little more on target here. Okay, going to forty percent. Zero power. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see him yet. They're turning to the left, so we're going to get a little bit behind him. Now, I don't know when they engage. In Warthana, like the AI bombers probably like engage at like 1.2 kilometers. <laughs> no, they probably actually really engage on like 0.6, but the players engage at like 1.2. A little bit of power. We're gonna zoom in here. There they are. Full power for a second. And we go idle. So we're gonna go for the right one first. Line up perfectly on it. Get a little bit of power setting in. And fire one. I'm guiding it right now. Whoa, look at that! Look at that, it hit it. It's leaking right now. Fire two. Oh, we missed that one, we missed that one. Shit. Okay, we need a little bit of power here. That one's heavily damaged though, right there. They're turning, we're gonna pull off full power. I think that one has a left wing fuel leak. Coming back around. We got two missiles left, let's see if we can take it down.
Yeah, the uh, second shot, I think we went a little bit above it. Wasn't in close range of seven meters to be able to detonate. Four twenty kilometers an hour. Four thirty. Yep, look at that. That plane is leaking right now. All right, we'll go idle. Nice and stable. Combat flaps. Fire one. Whoa! Yes! Fire two. Last one up. Oh, we, we, uh, I think we, uh, hit a little bit too short. Okay, we're gonna get some power in here, and we'll see if we can take these guys out with our guns. Now, it's kind of hard to use this reticle right now, just because my, uh, I, I gotta lean my head over, all the way over to the right. That explosion was awesome! The left one is leaking. He's, he, he's got an oil leak right there. Look at that. That engine's not going to last too long. Full power. Now, excuse me in my aiming right now. This is, this is going to be hard. We're getting some flack over our heads. Oh, shit. That was kind of close. Get engaged by him. He's going down. We just hit him right there on the next target. Please don't hit me. Come on, rudder. A little bit high right there. Come on. Look at that. Tango down. Retract. Oh my god. Retract flap. Sorry about that. Full power. Fuck yeah. Woo! Okay, now we need to go land. Now let's look at the map. Let's look for an airfield that we can land at. Okay, um, if we see on the airfield, or the map right here, we got one over here we can go land at. Or we can go back to our home base. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to our home base just because I know that one doesn't have any AA at it. RTB, boys, RTB. Okay, so I think I see the airfield in sight. It really, the, the render range in this game is really not too good because it's old, but we can kind of see the field right there. Look how fast we're going to right now. 660 kilometers an hour. Let's, let's, let's check the flyby. Let's get all the coordinate here. Okay, let's reduce some engine power. Easy, let's, let's not black out right now. 40%. We gotta lose a lot of altitude right now too. Idle power. Very abbreviated pattern approach right here. We're not going to pull out our flaps either. I think they'll rip off at this speed. Do guns have recoil in this game? Maybe a little bit. We're going to slip the aircraft right now. That's going to be with a left rudder and a right aileron. As you can see, our speed is heavily decreasing right now. I'll show you how we're slipping right now. A ton of drag is happening on the aircraft right now. Okay, let's get off that slip. Nice and coordinated again. Flaps can come out. Just make sure we're on target. I 
hope that's the airfield. I believe it is. I want to come in a little bit high, just because in um, in simulator games you really don't have the best FOV compared to real life. Because real life we would have this too to look at as well, and a little bit negative to see our altitude from the ground. Okay, landing flaps or takeoff flaps come out a little bit more uh, arc. So the aircraft a little bit more. Love how slipping in this game actually works. Lenny flaps on. See how we're flying right now? Doesn't that, does that look so cool? Okay, let's get coordinated here. We gotta, lose a, we, gotta, we gotta lose a lot of altitude right now. Landing flaps are done. Gear comes out. I'm still gonna slip it down. Yeah, we came in a really bad approach. Okay, easy, easy. Now we're going to get out of the slip a little bit. Not easy does it. There we go. Okay, now we're out of the slip. A little bit of power. Oh, I stalled her. Oh, we landed though. We, we landed. Okay, easy, easy, easy. There goes the brakes. That sounds awesome. No, oh my gosh. War Thunder, man. You gotta put these sound effects in it. Alright, so we're all safe on the ground. Um, what I... Yeah, these landing flaps are immensely dragging. That makes sense. So if you saw on final, we were at like maybe 210. I put a little bit of power in, I put 20% in, but we were still losing so much airspeed coming down to the ground. But our tubular steel right here probably held out a little bit. And uh, the Ta-15, or excuse me, the Ta-183 is on the ground. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Sorry about that landing, but uh, you know what they say. Some in the comments know. Alright guys, till next time, if you want to play more, let me know in the comments below. Peace out guys.